Irrigation is very important in removing the microorganisms that have invaded the canal space and disinfecting the root canal system. Primarily, we use sodium hypochloride as our primary disinfectant or irrigating solution. During the process of shaping of the canal with our hand files and rotary instruments, we do create smear layer. Smear layer consists of a dentinal mud that is full of infected dentin and nerve tissue. This mud is smeared onto the canal walls and is highly infected with microorganisms and also biofilm. One of the best ways to remove the smear layer from the canal walls is using a solution called EDTA. And the EDTA is applied to the canal and left in place for approximately one minute and helps in removal of the smear layer. Should you have a case with a large infection or a large radiolucency, oftentimes associated with a severely infected tooth, you could suggest that the practitioner use a final rinse of 2% chlorhexidine to help eradicate the residual microorganisms left inside the canal. So in short, the steps involved in irrigation involve the use of sodium hypochloride throughout the procedure. Once instrumentation has been completed, we then switch to EDTA for one minute. And should the need arise, we finish our irrigation once we've dried the canals with a one minute application of 2% chlorohexidine.